and welcome to God Breezes. And happy Labor Day weekend. We have now begun the official celebration of Labor Day weekend. I hope you get to enjoy it with your family and friends. I have some workplace jokes for you that hopefully will make you smile and laugh. So stay tuned for this God Breeze. one-liner jokes. Hey boss, why did the employee get fired from the calendar factory? They took a day off. How does NASA organize a party? They plan it. I got a job at the paperless factory. Everything was great until I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> My boss asked me how good I am at making spreadsheets and I said I excel at it. Hey boss, what do you call a flower business when it's doing really well? Blooming. <laughs> the human resource department was quizzing a new employee about the safety manual. And they asked them, what steps do you take in case of a fire? The new employee says, quick ones. <laughs> An employee asked his boss, if he could have two weeks off for Christmas. The boss says, it's May. And the employee says, oh, I'm sorry. May I have two weeks off for Christmas? <laughs> I've been interviewing some of my friends to find out if there were any funny things to share that were done in the workplace. And I got a really funny story from one of my friends who is a retired teacher who is married to a retired canine dog officer. And he came in to do a presentation to her English class in high school, a German shepherd, and after one of the girls' purses. And the teenagers are going wild. They're going, oh, she has drugs, she has drugs in her purse, she has drugs in her purse. You can imagine the whole class of teenagers just like going off about how this girl has drugs in her purse. Well, lo and behold, dog's head out of her purse and he's got her roast beef sandwich for lunch. <laughs> I would just love to hear some of your funny stories from your workplaces. I would love to hear it. And I think the other viewers would love to hear your funny stories as well. So this is a wonderful weekend that's given to us to celebrate our labors. So I pray that your rest will be sweet and that you will be refreshed and honored for being such a hard worker. My prayer is that each and every one of us in our workplace, whatever that is, that people when they see us go, wow, that person is a Christ follower. The way they work, their integrity, their pleasantness, everything about them is a reflection of Jesus to our workplaces. That's my prayer. And I know it can be challenging at times, believe me, but may we remember we are to be a reflection of our Father and His character of love and compassion and care for others. All right, remember loving God and loving others gives us our wings to fly. Have a very blessed weekend and we'll see you on Monday for celebrating sapphires through the word. Can't wait to share that with you. Have a great Labor Day weekend.